ನಮೋ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪದಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರಸ್ತಾಯ ಭೂತಲೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಿತಿ ನಾಮಿನೆ ನಮೋ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪದಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರಸ್ತಾಯ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಾಮಿನೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವಿ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣೇ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಸುಖವಾಣಿ ಪಚತ್ಯಾದೇಶಿಣೇ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಜೀರದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾದಿ ಗೌರವಕ್ತ ಬೃಂದ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀರದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾದಿ ಗೌರವಕ್ತ ಬೃಂದ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರಿ ಹರಿ 
Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna devotees, welcome all of you. Thank you all so much for joining today. Wish you all a very happy, blissful uh, Lord Balram appearance day. Uh, so we will move on to the next part of the program. So now uh, uh, His uh, Grace Navin Krishna Prabhu is going to speak on the uh, glories and pastimes of uh, Lord Balram. So many of you know Navin Krishna Prabhu. He is uh, one of the integral part of our community. Uh, he and his family are pillars of, uh, you know, one of the pillars of Columbus community, Columbus Krishna community. Um, he's been practicing Bhakti Yoga or Krishna consciousness for over uh, 22 years. So he was introduced to ISKCON in 1998. Um, ever since he's been practicing Bhakti Yoga. And also, you know, he's practicing and is also trying to spread the message of Lord Chaitanya to, you know, many, many people across the world, you know, not only from Columbus, but different parts of the world. He's been doing the home programs and uh, cultivating many people and teaching Bhakti Yoga to hundreds and thousands of people. Um, he's also a temple council member and also a board member for uh, ISKCON uh, Columbus. So we are happy to have Navin Krishna Prabhu with us today. So without further ado, Navin Krishna Prabhu, please uh, take it over from here. And the uh, class is scheduled from uh, you know uh, 6.45 until uh, 8 o'clock. So I'm hoping Navin Krishna Prabhu would leave uh, some time for question and answers, you know, before that. Thank you so much, Prabhu. Please step over. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Thank you. Is my tone is very clear? Yeah. Okay. Yes, please. Yes. Like to... Thank you very much. And I would like to see your beautiful faces if possible. If it's, that's okay with you. I would like to take your direction. That will be auspicious. If it, if it possible. Otherwise, if you are not comfortable, it's up to individual uh, discussion. But if it's possible, please... Uh, be nice to see happy faces. Thank you very much. We'll start uh, Jai Radha Mada. Jai Radha Mada Hava Kunja Vihari Jai Radha Mada Kunja Vihari Jai Radha Mada Hava Dandana, <laughs> Shadana, <laughs> 
जयो राधमा सुंदर बिहारी हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्णा कृष्णा विष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्णा विष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय राधा नट बर राधा नट बर राधा नट बर राधे जय राधा माधव राधा माधव राधा माधव राधे जया कृष्णा बल राम जया कृष्णा बल राम जया कृष्णा बल राम जय कृष्णा बल राम जय जगन्ना जय जगन्ना जय बल देवा जय सुबा जया गौरानीता जय गौरानीता जय गौरानीता जय गौरानीता जय जय प्रभु 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 जय जय प्रभु जय जय गुरुदे 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 जय जय गुरुदे हरे कृष्णा I'll just sing uh, Mangala Chandra prayers. You know, you can follow me, otherwise, you can listen. <coughs> Om Gnana Timirandasa Nanam Hena Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Gurve Namaha. In Chaitanya Mahabhistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadam Pitam One day Hum Shri Guru Shri Uta Padakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavancha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sagana Aragutana Nitam Tam Satinam Advaitam Savadutam Parijana Savitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Lita Shri Vishakan Vitansham Taptagantana Gaurangi Rathe Bundavaneshwari Tabanu Sute Devi Kanamamu Hariti E Krishna Karuna Sindho Dina Bandha Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namaskriti Vanchakal Patarudhyasya Rupa Sindho Pevacha Patita nam pavane bio, Vaishna bio, namun namaha. Jashi Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadha, Shiva Sari Gauda Bhaktavinda. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. Thank you very much. Once again, welcome to the discourse about the glories of Sri Balarami and this auspicious day of his appearance day of our birthday. So, and also I'm grateful for the opportunity to share what I heard, what I learned, and what I try to practice. So if there is any shortcoming, please forgive me. And I'm also like anybody trying to follow. There's so many mistakes on my side. I'm not sure. But I'm I want to do as a service as my own purification. Thank you very much. Okay, so next uh, 45 minutes, we'll talk about Balarams. So what I thought was is a four part a seminar. The first is what happens in spiritual world. We'll talk about the put the source. And then from spiritual world to material, material world transition, how it happens, what happens, we'll talk about that. So when it comes to material world, so what are the things we can learn and what are the things he's trying to teach? And then at the end, so a couple of pastimes, what, what we will learn uh, from Balaram. At the, at the end, we can have a question answer session. Is that okay, Ramjit Prabhu? Okay, so 6.52, let's start. Thank you very much. So as I said, Balaram's 
appearance there is very very auspicious nobody cannot reach krishna without the mercy of balaram he is adi guru so how do we understand this so if a great person want to teach us something but we are not i am not great but how do we understand so in this case the great person who is a krishna supreme personality of god here he becomes his servant so that by watching him we can learn how to serve his master who is not different than himself is an amazing concept so in the perspective krishna who is a supreme personality of god is called swayam bhagavan swayam bhagavan means self supreme without any second and then is there is no reason for him he is reason for everything and he is not depending on anything for any from external or internal he is swayam self sufficient also called atmara now the same personality want to teach us how to serve him so he becomes savior bhagwan savior means service or servant till bhagwan god there is no difference between krishna and balaram we'll talk about that the same person but at the same time there is a difference what is that color whatever krishna does balaram also does same we'll talk about in few minutes so first is if you understand two concepts swayam bhagwan or seva bhagwan or sevak bhagwan now there is no a starting position where the spiritual world started material world started nobody can have trace it buddha moolam adaswadam tandam sesya parnani yattam nirs vedave krishna says in bhagavad gita this creation has no middle no beginning there is no end nobody can have trace is called ananta so but for discussion perspective for understanding perspective so if you understand let's say on supper at time when krishna want to when he is all alone there is never even never alone but assume for understanding perspective so now he expands himself or manifest is the better word himself as balaram balaram is the first expansion a manifest of krishna so he manifest in the spiritual world all spiritual land all spiritual sky all spiritual directions and then from him second expansion happens briefly propa said if we understand this expansion of krishna the 50% uh, uh, mukti person is delivered because this is unheard most of the people have an access to shiva uh, uh, vishnu or brahma in this world but what could been discussed is much much beyond he is actually hidden but actually is revealed so krishna expands to balaram balaram expands into first quadruple first quadruple aniruddha vasudeva sankarshana and pradyumna you understand aniruddha vasudeva sankarshana and pradyumna and these four in spiritual becomes four direction sustaining principles to maintain the spiritual world under the agency of balaram in this first quadruple of this called chaturvipa sankarshan expands into narayan so this narayan again expands into second quadruple which is aniruddha vasudeva pradyumna sankarshan this sankarshan is called maha sankarshan and second sankarshan is called maha sankarshan it's called a mula sankarshan and from that maha sankarshan purusha avatara happens first purusha avatara is actually called karanodaka sai vishnu so so far it's all whatever explains on spiritual world now the material world creation starts that means there is a reason reason karana means reason till then there is no reason to create the reason he become the reason so that's his karana jala uh, uh, karanodaka sai mahavishnu he is the first reason for material world to come into existence it's called karana now what he does from his perspiration he created the if if i may entire the space which is covered in mahatatva 
uh, and then then balaram expands as adisheshu serpentine bed so this karana dakti mahavishnu lay down all he does is breathe breathe in breathe out when he breathe in breathe out the force of his air is the universe comes in universe comes out his breath is the duration of entire universe existence which is millions and billions and trillions of years of duration we are not getting there so now each universe he enters as garbhodaka sari garbha means uh, like you know uh, uh, the belly when mother gives a uh, uh, birth is called garbha garbhodana samskara we do that so first time there is no birth there is no death in spiritual world first is the karan which is the reason the next is the birth happens that is in garbhodaka garbha udaka perfectly aligned uh, philosophy then is garbhodaka sai mahavishnu uh and then he enters into each universe again he fills the universe off with his perspiration again adisheshu expands again balara as a serpentine bed so he lay down and then from his navel uh uh, uh the lotus flower sprouts out the brahma is the first creation and then brahma is given all the tools then then based on the desires of living entities he, he is a secondary creator then he creates this material world all uh eternal elements of the of prakriti he manifests in different shapes he creates the demigods and all those things all living in this so the second vishnu garbhodaka saham vishnu enters into each atom and each living entity as a super soul it's called shirodaka sai mahavishnu shira means milk he also resides in every living entity as a paramatma he also has milk portion as a place separately exist that's called shirodaka sai mahavishnu there is a three purushas karana daksha mahavishnu garbha daksha mahavishnu shiro daksha mahavishnu this is how the universe spiritual world material world entire this operation done by balaram under his agency krishna has nothing to do with the creation he says in bhagavad gita tasya kartaram api mam vidya akartam avyam he says i create but still i'm i'm not part of it even though everything rest in me even though i'm there but i'm aloof so balaram the purpose is creating environment all the living entities to come close to krishna the entire agency is only one purpose the season is called adi guru he brings so that is uh, swayam bhagwan and sevak bhagwan so next let's move on to uh, how he serves he calls serves krishna unconditional unmotivated uninterrupted 24 by 7 in all rasas there is a five rasas right santa rasa which is neutrality dasya rasa sarvachu sakya rasa friendship vatsala rasa like you know parental love madhura rasa which is conjugal love but balaram is the only personality who serves krishna in all five rasas even other vishnu narsinga uh, like rama uh, other, other personalities like you know um, or uh, narada muni or many uh, devotees they either do one or two to that an extent but balaram serves krishna full potency 24 by 7 in all rasas he has a amazing position which nobody else he is non different than krishna you are all with me so far okay next is we already talked about this entire cosmic manifestation so falls into six avataras we are talked about yuga uh, purusha avataras which is three vishnus yuga avataras every yuga krishna comes he says yada yada hi dharma sad ganit bhavit bharat every every yuga when there is a decline of religious he comes and establishes the religious principles and also uh, 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 protect the devotees sometimes he comes by himself sometimes he send his agency the agency starts with Bal- balara and then um, lila avataras he does so many past times manmanta avatara there is a Fourteen manus in each universe in one day of Brahma's life, and then uh, Shakta Vishavatar, which is Narada Muni uh, or, or uh, Kapila Muni or uh, Veda Vyas or uh, all these devotees who empowered living entities, Jiva Tattva, but they are called Shakta Vishavatar. There is a six types of Vishavatar. So as I said, nobody can not teach Krishna without Balarams. So Bar- Balarams, what he does, he creates Sambhoga. That means he brings people. close to krishna even he also a dham he is a he is a bed he is a flute he is a pillow he is a bed cover he is a cot he is a dham this is a 
spiritual world as well as the material world is ingredients entire mahatattva comes from him he is the ingredients with the principal energy is called sandhini sandhini means sandhi is actually means connect connect so his potency sandhini potency krishna has unlimited potencies one of the potencies is called sandhini he uses to bring devotees a living entity is close to krishna it's called sambhoga and then actually also does the vipralamba preparation this is krishna balaram under the guidance of his yogamaya potency which he does that and then he also called he expands he also contracts like you know vrindavan is like a flower if you see and then at uh, night time he, he like you know vikulita is called contracts and then krishna radha krishna comes together with his gopis the day comes it expands to separate it all happened by Balar- balaram's um uh, uh, uh under guidance but uh, guidance of balaram and he also does easy services he also does most difficult services once a child give an example so far we discussed how balaram saw krishna bringing the people together if you take an example of ramayan when sita was abducted by ravana and then when he came when she came to unite with ram after war and nobody cannot do what uh, 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 lakshman can do or balram can do or nikan mahaprabhu does it's a tough task ram said tell sita she has to enter into fire it is very painful but those kind of service he does it at the end of ramayan when when she was pregnant and then when uh, you all know dobi uh, said something and ram told lakshman nobody cannot do the service we sita in the valmiki ashram he cried he tried to convince ram he said no it is very painful but he he is the person who does all the painful services also so he took he brings living entities close to krishna at the same time he is also taking away when it is the necessary for higher caste because he doesn't have any personal agenda he doesn't have any personal uh, uh, a thing which i want to do what is good for my master i will do it no condition the painful pleasure rain or shame doesn't matter that is one thing is establishing guru tattva means what is good for my master if it is to fight he is ready to fight if it is touch the feet he touch the feet but whatever is needed whatever is needed there is no i me my janas samoho ya mamaiti what do others think no he does we cannot imitate him but we can only get inspiration from him so this is some of the aspects of balaram what he does and they accept krishna and balaram as the multi multi unlimited energies whatever krishna has it balaram also has it they are non different they are the one person we'll talk about it some of the energies which is very my favorite uh, uh, topic i'll re- just read out some energies which uh, sri potency of wealth pushti strength jira knowledge kanti beauty kirti fame vairagya renunciation ila bhut shakti andhini urja vidya and also avidya ladini shakti maya shakti prakriti like you know lagma shakti anima shakti prapti siddhi mahima shakti and then sita shakti Kamya Shakti, Vasita Siddhi. Like that, if you name it, uh, Sikh Shakti. If you name it, there are so many, Sandhini, Samit, Haladini, as I said, there are so many Shaktis for different, different purposes. But all the purpose is only one purpose. How to bring a living entity close to Krishna. He uses all whenever is necessary. So that's a part one so far. So we talked about spiritual world, how the creation starts. what is balaram's role or how, what he does so this is a part one now we'll moving on to part two so now okay we had balaram's appearance last year previous year we read again we read we heard it as we are going there so many devotees around the world the propod mercy in his called temples they are all talking about the same balaram pastor why we already heard it what is that have to do again and again again bhagavatam says if you hear about the personality of these great personalities three things happens our shoka which is lamentation will go off moha illusion or attachment go off and bhaya fear will go off this is not what we wanted but is a default benefit of fear in the past times of great personality especially balaram 
or gurus or Krishna pastimes. So shoka, bhaya, moha. Through that process, we get purification. And most important, we develop the love, bhakti, prema. And that also helps us to nourish our attachment. We get more conviction, decision-making power, discrimination power, sadhana power. All these things, where it comes from? Balaram. Bala means strength. Rama means one who gives pleasure. You have a bala, if there is no pleasure, the bala has no value. The same thing, you have a pleasure, but because we are all weak, that doesn't last for long. So bala ram, bala, bala badra, is actually very auspicious energy so that we can use it as a service to Krishna and sustain the Sandini potency, connect back to Krishna, and then there is no never end. It always ever increases in joy. That's called potency of Rama, Balaram. So this is the reason why we hear about pastimes again and again, when an whenever an opportunity comes, when these appearances or any festivals. So this has also been confirmed in uh, Bhagavatam uh, 1.7.6. It says, Anatto pasanam sakshat bhakti yogam adokshaje lokasya janto vipvam chakre satvata samhitam. It says, the material miseries of the living entity, which are superfluous to him or her, can be directly mitigated by the linking process of devotion service. But the mass people do not know this. And therefore, the learned Vyasadeva compiled this Vedic literature, which is in relation to supreme truth. The supreme truth is Balaram, through which we can understand his master, who is Krishna, is not different than him. Krishna to teach us, he became Balaram, as I said. So now how? Because he also gave the power to Vyasadeva, who is a Shakti Vashavata. So now, is through the agency of Balaram, we'll, we'll know him. We can practice him. To practice, he'll give the strength, he'll give the knowledge, he'll give the facilities, he'll give the association. Everything he is doing it. And the next, there is another verse, which is my favorite. Nivritta sektarse upagiyya manat bhavasdav chakchotra manobhi ramat ka uttama sloka guna nivadat tuman virajyate veena pasudhnat. He says, glorification of Supreme Personality of Godhead is performed in the parampara system. This parampara system system established by Balaram. He is the Adi Guru. We cannot, or nobody cannot contact, start their own system. It has to be connected to Balaram. He is conveyed from spiritual master to disciple. Such glorification is relished by those who are no longer interested in the past or temporary glorification of this cosmic manifestation, which is manifested as the agency of Balaram, the mercy of Balaram. He is the most magnanimous and the most merciful. So if you hear about this, then we also get purification and we can move forward. And then who is not interested? Unfortunately, many, but those who are getting attracted to this path, they are glorious. So now let, let's little philosophy. So, so, so far we talk about a little analogy, uh, stats and facts, no little philosophy. It's called Tattva. Philosophy without, without Tattva is a sentiment. Tattva without Leela is a mental concoction or uh, uh, it's like, you know, um, Sahaja. So it has to go together. So how do we understand? So Krishna, Tattva to Balaram can be understood in three ways. It's called Swayam Rupa, Tadekatma Rupa, Avesha Rupa. I will not get into details, but I'll just very quickly say Krishna has 64 qualities. He is unlimited, but predominantly 64 qualities. Balaram also has 64 qualities. Balaram also has 64 qualities. Only difference is the mood is a servitude, is a master, is a servant. And the color. Right? Color. Form is black and white. Mode is master and servant. That's only difference. We also exhibit 64. Every, everything is equal. So this Swayam, uh, this uh, Swayam, Rupa, Swayam Rupa potency of Krishna as a supreme personal Godhead. That's for Krishna. When he expands into Balaram, it's called Swayam Prakash. Any manifestations, Prakash, manifestation, avatara, or expansion is called in Sanskrit Prakasha. Prakasha means it's the closest word for that. This Prakasha has two parts. Parabhava Prakasha and Vaibhava Prakasha. Parabhava Prakasha means 
identical even though krishna expands he expands as identical form is same mood is same everything is same like for example we can say uh, in rasa lila when he is dancing with radharani other gopis felt i wish we also dance then he expands so he is the same krishna it's called parabhava prakash there is no difference between any krishna same but when parabhava becomes vaibhava prakash is called balaram they have 64 qualities but bhava is different mood is uh, mood is different color is different so balaram has his own gopis he also has flute he also has past times he also kills the demons everything is same but only difference is supreme personality of godhead is parabhava prakash the servant which is balaram vaibhava prakash so these are the two things if you understand that's good enough vishnu has 60 qualities not has it they exhibit shiva or vishnu uh, or shiva or uh, brahma exhibit up to 55 jiva tattva you and me we all exhibit up to 50 qualities to certain extent so now one can understand when krishna and balaram is same he is non different everything is correct is there is no difference prabhupada jiva goswami explains in sandarbhas yes there is a little difference if you understand this you understand the principle krishna's past times balaram's past times even though the same the sweetness krishna has a little bit more that is the only difference the sweetness of krishna's past times a little bit more he steals the butter balaram also steals the butter balaram has a rasalila too is go peace krishna also has it krishna also plays flute balaram also plays flute flute but the sweetness of krishna's past times is a little bit more than balaram that is the only difference that's called parabhava prakash and vaibhava prakash this is a elaborately explained by jiva goswami having said the philosophy we will move on so we will move on to next part 3 okay now spiritual world we understand the tattva and leela now to come to this balaram at the material world and again past times so one time one day in some yoga, uh, diff- a different part of the uh, world there is a beautiful garden forest with all fill facilities for uh, renunciates so there is a person called vedasira he was actually sitting there and then meditating and vishnu is a pure devotee of vishnu and then by her- hearing about this place is an other devotee is called ashwashira he also came there he wanted to live but when he came there naturally when vedasir said he felt his place was being uh, a shared and uh, 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 somebody else walked in he is not comfortable because there is privacy is uh, he felt his privacy is in threat so but he is very de- pure devotee but somehow he got that feeling then he told asusira this is not the right place there is another place nearby you can go there this is my place asusira said no this is krishna's property there is nothing you and mine everything belongs to krishna you do your job i do my job in one sense that is also right but they had argumented and eventually they both cursed each other then eventually they both cursed each other then he says you become a snake then you become a crow then suddenly vishnu appeared when they came to senses what happened i never get angry but what is the reason and vishnu smiled yes my dear devotees i have to come as a balaram in the future so you have become my instruments you didn't have any ill intention but i inspired from within so that you get angry you you curse each other so that that becomes a way for me to enter into this material world don't worry you are my eternal servants you, you will be with me even though you are past times i am with you so that's how it started and then aswashira later on he became a pakabachunda which is a great devotee of ram who instructed garuda about ramayana and then now vedasira who actually became uh, kaliya so kaliya's mother is kadru who is wife of uh, um, kashyapa kaliya's older brother is adisheshu which is nothing but balaram so that's how the balaram dynasty started so balaram in the form of adisheshu so that's a, a little example from back and this this kadru who's a wife of uh, the daughter of daksha but a wife of um uh, kashyapa she took the birth as rohini now you see what happened so all the past times happened now he prepared his mother he prepared his father everything is ready kadru uh, gave the birth to balaram and he expands into the two two one is balaram's eternal mother is rohini 
So she was living in Vrindavan. She is one of the wife of Vasudev. And she was a pregnant in, in, in uh, Mathura, but comes up, comes up threat is there that season. He sent, uh, Sudev sent Rohini to Vrindavan to uh, taken care by Nanda Maharaj. And by the time six kids already came and gone, the seventh pregnancy is carried by um, what? No, you're, no, 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 Krishna, Krishna's mother. Dear, uh, no. sorry, sorry, my, my, my mind went blank. Thank you, thank you very much. Devaki, thank you, Prem Sindhu. You're there for me as my delight. Thank you. So, Devaki, she was carrying seventh uh, pregnancy, which is actually expansion of this Pradrush son, first son, which is Adishishu. It is partial expansion of Balaram. Now, full expansion of Balaram is in the, wife, in the womb of Rohini, who is in the previous life is a Kadru. So, now Yogamaya potence has been called by Krishna, then he says transfer the womb from Devaki into Rohini. So now this partial expansion of Balaram, which is Adisheshu, Sheshna, merged with Balaram. Then that's where the entire Balaram came out of the womb of Rohini. That's how the entire story. So systematically, systematically he prepares the path. He selects a few devotees. And then sometimes by, by instigating the curse, he get something out of it. And then by the, after that, he forgives them. Because that is his plan. Sometimes bringing, sometimes separating. It's like an amazing concept. We understand this path. Sometimes why? Sometimes Guru is angry. We don't understand. Sometimes devotee is angry. We don't know. But sometimes Krishna used them. We don't know. But after oh my God, I didn't want to say it, but I did it. Why? We don't know. So uh, long story short, that's how the Balaram came into a picture. So he took a birth on um, actually it was actually that as for the Kala, it's a Wednesday noon, he was born in Tula Rasi and then uh, he was born in the actual noon that season, the only fast after day, Krishna was born in night, so he had to pass whole day that's happened the next week so Krishna uh, Balaram is an embodiment of devotion service and he also facilitated others um, and then he also carries some of the characters of the Balaram. We'll talk about it before we go to part four. So he always carries a plow. The indication of Guru used the plow, the field of heart, so that it can prepare the fertile ground as a consciousness so that we can accept Krishna. So that's the reason to indicate that Balaram always carries the plow. And then um, Get a password. So, without proper, uh, properly understanding the mercy of Lord Balara and understanding how to acquire his causeless mercy, is very difficult in the path of bhakti. Very difficult. And also, it's very, very auspiciousness to remember every day Balaram. So, that also brings the auspiciousness within us so that he will help us to connect to Krishna. So, that's a part three. So, in spiritual world, Transition from spiritual world to material world and how we enter into the material world. So we covered part three parts. Now the final part, part four. So now Balaram is here. He is growing up with Krishna and his friends. How many pastimes he is doing it? So uh, in general, Krishna and Balaram pastimes up to age 60 divide into four categories. Kaumara, Auganda, Kaishori and Yavana. Kaumara means up to five years old. Auganda means up to 10. Kaishori is up to 16 and beyond 16 is Yavana, right? So now during this past, uh, these four uh, uh, categories, Krishna and Balram does so many pastimes, giving the butter, giving the joy to the gopis and gopas and friends uh, and their parents. So uh, however long they were in Vrindavan, every day, unlimited pastimes. They'll be glory, they'll be talking about him, they'll be discussing about them, they'll be singing about the pastimes. And these are the pastimes, as I said before, Bhagavatam says, it's Baya Shoka Mohal also eradicate that we will become, uh, 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 we'll be, become attached to Krishna, develop love for Krishna. Our sustenance of devotion service also hearing pastimes, hearing pastimes. 
practicing past times. But during that, of course, no one is perfect. While practicing, some of the things, unwanted things will fall away. So that is the reason why he does past times. Krishna says in Gita, Janma karma chame divyam, yemam veti tatpata, tatpa deha punat janyam, naiti mamiti sojana. Those who understand this, this Purusha tatwa, Krishna's activities, his janma, he never takes birth, but he appears to be taking birth. Same with Balaram. Once we leave, the body will never come back again to this world. That is the potency of hearing and reading and practicing and also sharing with others. So having said that now, and there are so many demons Krishna Balram killed. So there's no time. So I will just touch a couple of uh, demons. So there's a demon called Denu Kasura. Denu means uh, um, as, as demon. So it happened in his Pauganda Leela. Pauganda Leela means before age 10. So one day, Krishna, Balaram, Subala, uh, Siddha, Dhamma, uh, and they are, they, every day they, they heard the cows different different parts. One time, Kamivana, sometimes Madhiravana, one more time, Vrindavan, there's so many Vanas, forest. So when they are passing by, they, they smell beautiful aroma when it's passing by. And then now Siddhama, Subala was telling Balaram. They were telling Balaram, not Krishna. Balaram, I know you're very powerful. You were, you were Balabhadra. At the time of your, your naming ceremony, um, Shandila was there, um, Gargamuni was there. They glorified you. So many glory. He first, he, Falaspati, they were giving Falaspati. Glory for you, are that, you are that, you are this. But what to do? Did he, did he smell it? He says, what do you? He smells something. It's a beautiful aroma coming from this side of the uh, uh, forest, but we cannot go. Balram asked, why? Because there's a demon called Denikasara, who's an associate of Kamsa, he lives with his associates. Nobody cannot go. He's so demoniac. Even the bird flying on the top, he kills them. Everybody is afraid. He's so powerful. Everybody is afraid. We cannot go. But however, this smell is so enchanting, so powerful, we cannot give up that idea also. So happened that we happened to come to this side of the uh, forest. So is it, can you help us to get us? Balram said, okay, let's go. So they all jumped into that path and they walked towards that, um, the place where Denukasara is called Talavan. Talavan. Talavan means it's a fruit. Name is Tala. This is a, 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 one kind of a fruit. It's very fragrant. So you can eat when it is a, a, it's ripened. It's very tasty. Uh, so they all went there and then they, as soon as they saw first couple of trees and then Balar, Balade, Balram went first and then he, he catch hold of the big tree and started shaking them. That started shaking them so uh, uh, fast, all the fruits which is ripe and started falling down. Rest of the uh, uh, friends, Krishna, Subala, Sridhama, like you no, know, Mangal, Arjun, they're all the friends. They started picking up the fruits and eating and enjoying and shouting, throwing at the people, other friends, like throwing in the air, and opening the mouth and catching up and then eating the fruit and spitting the uh, the seed out they're all enjoying they are they're so happy after a long time they get an opportunity and in this in this commotion there was a lot of noise and somebody was sitting there a the little deeper on the forest heard this noise demon Denikasara, and he got disturbed how dare somebody come into the forest it's my forest and then he came running to the place and he saw there's so many people he got outraged in front of them, you see this personality who's wearing the blue dress, big lotus eyes, short uh, uh, nose, and then uh, uh, like, you know, lotus flower lips, very uh, uh, ripened fruit colored red. And then like, you know, this turban, this bugle right next to him. And then it's the covered boy. And he's a carelessly, he was standing there and watching. As soon as he saw this Denikrasa, he got so Angry because everybody look hearing about him, people for, for uh, run away. Looking at him, this person is standing there and he's, he's barking. He came uh, with his hind legs, he kicked, he kicked a Balaram chest, and Balaram stood there smiling. Nothing happened to him, and that made him more outrageous. If he's thrown one kick, people cannot survive, they will run away or kicked away miles apart. This person is still standing there. And that made him more mad. And then he went back and took a couple of steps and came back with a mighty force and kicked the Balaram again. Balaram did not like it. He said, okay, next time he went again a little bit far away, charging, 
and kicked Balram with his hind legs. Balram catch all of the two legs. And effortlessly lifted and started whirling, whirling around, whirling around in such a way that like, you know, this Venuka sort of totally fainted, started vomiting the blood. He has no control, he's dizzy, and then he's almost dead. It is so mighty, speed of the mind, Balaram. He's, he is the person who's holding the entire universe effortlessly on his foot. This Denukasra power is also given by him. Sometimes we get offended with how much power we have. I did this, I did that. Sometimes we forget who is actually doing to us. This is another tattva which Krishna is telling through Balaram agency. You know, we should not be puffed up. I, I'm, no, I'm no one. I also have a similar. I'm just saying that this is all we all have to learn, especially myself, my own purification. I'm just sharing it. And then he threw him in such a way that big, one of the tall, big, tall tree, he landed on it. So because so huge, it fell down. When it fell down, it fell on other tall tree. Then again, that fell on other. Like that became a big commotion. And in the meantime, all his friends, Denikasura, who's all as demons. And they all came in charging. That time, Krishna and Balaram, uh, and then all his friends, well, well they're looking at it. And then uh, there are other uh, people there are using the sticks to defend. But Krishna and Balaram using the hands, picking these demons like a mushroom, rolling around with all his power, like throwing the air so that it falls in the, one of the big, tall, tall fruits and fell down. Like the entire forest is destroyed, not destroyed, uh, uh, fell off, and all the fruits fell down. These Denikasura and his all associates are dead. And then they were having good fun. So what we learn from this? So there is Acharya's written that all these oh, demons. Why Krishna did not kill? Some of us, we may not know. During my research, we found out that this Denikasura is the previous life. He is actually grandson of Prahalad Maharaj. Narsinga Dev gave benediction, all your uh, 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 dynasties, I will never touch them. So, Prahlad Maharaj, father is Rinda Kashipu, Prahlad Maharaj's son is Virochan, Virochan's son, son uh, is, um, is uh, Mahashaya. That's the reason, one day, he was so powerful, he was actually uh, entered into the forest, and there, um, Urvashan was doing meditation. And he messed with him. And then he, when, he, when he messed with him, then he cursed him. You are talking to a donkey. You are such a come, as a grandson of Prahlad Maharaj. I, I curse you becoming a donkey. Then he, when he became a humble, I said, okay, don't worry. But 400,000 years, you have to be in this spot. Then when eventually you will be killed by Balaram. So that's the reason Acharya is explaining Krishna did not kill the Pasura. Amazing. Everything in, 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 in scripture, there is a reason. And then it's also, uh, it's also, uh, killed by Guru, which is Balaram. So, because Venukasara represents ignorance of truth. And he also due to idiocy, loss of consciousness of spiritual identity, not like, you know, is a full of ignorance concerning, not concerning difference between Krishna and his name, and ignorance of relationship with Krishna. They, they are all the symptoms of the tendency of Venukasara mentality. And also ignorance about the oneness of Krishna, and then, and also ignorant of holy name, and is also gross materialistic intelligence, ignorance of spiritual knowledge. They are all symptoms of the demoniac tendency of Dhenakasura. So Balaram kills that ass mentality. <coughs> Excuse me. Make your pardon. I'll just, um, the son of Virochana is Bali. So, Prahala, Virochana, Bali, and Mahasana. Great grandson, not the grandson, great grandson. So, that's about Denukasura. So, how are we doing the time, uh, Prabhu? So, 7 30. So, we'll leave. Uh, I'll tell one more pastime and then we can end it and then uh, we can uh, give the time for the question. Next is Pralambasana. Before that, <coughs> I'll just explain, I may not have time on, uh, at the end. So, there's many demons killed by Krishna. There is a specific demon skill by Balaram. So first one, Dhenukasura. I'll, I'll say the list and then we'll talk about Pralambasura. Second is Pralambasura. Mustika, Chanura and Mustika. Chanura killed by Krishna. Mustika killed by Balaram. And then Kal, Kuta, Vishal. There are so many other uh, um, Pahilwans who are in the, in the arena of Kamsa. Um, 
during that uh, fight, killed. They are Kal, Kuta, and Vishal. And then he also killed eight brothers of Kamsa. Not killed Kamsa, but brothers of Kamsa killed by Balaram. He also killed Romuharshan Sutta. And he also killed Balavala. He also killed uh, uh, Divira, Gorilla. And he also has a pastor, Mr. Kalindi. And then he also annihilated the pride of Kauravas when they abducted uh, Krishna's son, which is uh, Samba. Balaram actually pulled entire Hastinapur into the Ganges. So that is at the past time. He also killed the king of Kalinga and the Rukmi, the dice game. So these are demons which Krishna did not touch, but Balaram killed them. So now let's talk about Pralambasura quickly. Pralambasura is another demon sent by Kamsa to Krishna. So Pralambasura is actually a very intelligent demon. He didn't come directly attacking Krishna like Bakasura, Agasura. They came and confronted Krishna. Agasura, like, you know, Sekatasura, all this. This Pralambasura, what he does, he disguises as a Gopa. One of the covered by he understood. He carefully watched from the sky. What does Krishna does? When he does? What is Balaram does? How many friends he has it? Or like, you know, what time he does it? He carefully, he did his groundwork. Finally, he understood there's one particular boy that day, he did not join Krishna to play. So he disguised exactly like the boy who's a Gopa and he joined the Krishna Balaram party. So that's another thing we can learn. Sometimes in the name of a devotee, sometimes devotion service, so many things, Anadas also comes from others. Krishna loves cows, but he did not hesitate when Vasasura in the form of a uh, calf came Krishna killed. Krishna loved bull, which is the emblem of dharma, but a demon came as a uh, bull, he did not hesitate to kill. Krishna loves woman, he did not hesitate to start account killing Putana. So do Ram with the Tataki. He's selling example. We should not be sentimental. When it protect, to protect dharma, we can take any action. How we approach, that's what he reciprocates. To certain example, he also does the same thing. So like that is not supposed to kill a person who's sitting in a Vyasasan, but doesn't matter. The Vyasasan person who's sitting there, uh, uh, um, Roma Harshan Sutta, Balaram did not hesitate to establish dharma so that they will learn, so that others will not know. Balaram is the emblem of that. So, with that, when Pralambasura, he came as a disguised form of, of exactly the friend of Krishna and Balaram. Balaram knows, no, Krishna knows, he identified, he knew, immediately he, he understood, but Balaram did not because Krishna covered him. So now Krishna said, they play every day different, different games. Then that day he said, okay, let's play a game where we have a tug of war. So we have a rope, other side of, one side, somebody hold it, their team, other side, other team hold it, pull it. Whoever wins it, that means whoever pull other side, this side, they win. They win, that means Losers has to carry them on the shoulder. That was the game that day. So now, purposely, Krishna team lost because Krishna did not put put full uh, full attention how to win. So he lost. Now those who won, they had to carry the losers. So now everybody is carrying somebody and walking away. So this particular demon, which is Pralambasura, had a intelligence. As I said, he understood Krishna is very powerful. Let's not touch him. Krishna and Balaram together is very uh, 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 deadly combination for him. So now, first I'll kill Balaram, Krishna will become weak, and then after that I'll kill Krishna. So he, he made a plan like this. He has, everybody has his own plans, right? We, we make plans like that. Then he carried Pralambasara. Pralambasara carried Balaram. And he's carrying, and then he's taking away, slowly, 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 far away. Balaram was thinking, this is the lunch time where this my friend is taking. He didn't understand initially because Krishna covered him. By the time he understood, Palamra was already carried for long distance. Then he understood, oh my God, this is not my friend. He said, my friend, who are you? I thought you're my friend. You're where are you taking me away from Krishna? I want to play with my friend, my, 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 my brother, Krishna and his friends. He's telling another example. Those who are taking away from us, away from Krishna, we have to be very careful. 
So this is another principle Krishna uh, Balaram is teaching us. So this Pralambhasara represents the greed for position and worshipping, adoration, name, fame, power, recognition, which will take us away from Krishna. Even the devotees, even I don't mind to go to heaven or hell. Even if my, 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 my name is ruined, I'm not here to solve somebody's ill intention. I'm here to solve what is Krishna's intention. This is another past tense which we can learn from Palamas. They don't care about themselves. But to preserve dharma, whatever is needed. Even if I lose it, that's okay. But I have to fight, I have to fight. This is another uh, uh, past tense we can learn from Palambasra. Greed, name, power, influence, position, illicit sex, lusty inclinations, desire for personal gain and honor. So when this person is taking, these are the things will take us away from Krishna. Krishna exactly, these are all the vices, all the virtues which will take us towards Krishna. This Pralambasara taking Balaram away. Then Balaram understood. He said, my friend, wait, what's you doing? Then he understood that by the time Pralambasara assumed his original form, which is a huge and humongous copper red eyes, profusely fuming, bad words in his mouth, big ears, very deformed body, but very powerful. Then he has a, a golden shield as a, a helmet. And then Balaram, he looked at him, okay, is this what you want to show off what you have? Okay, let me show off. He just raised his fist to one power, powerful blow on his head. His helmet, his head, both broken. Fell down, vomiting the blood and the pus. And Bal Bal Balaram got down. He said, thank you very much and ran towards Krishna and his friends. So Balaram killed Pralambhasara. So having said that now, it's a 7.40. I will end here. Before I end, I will just uh, conclude what we discussed. Today is an auspicious day of Balaram, who is representative of Guru Tattva, Krishna's first expansion. We talked about how Krishna expands into Balaram, Chitra all avatars, spiritual world, and how he transitioned into material world, how Krishna, Balaram saw Krishna in the all moods and all rasas, and then how he come to material world, how his agency creates a facility that he can take birth here. He creates his mother, father, guru, and then eventually when he comes here, when he joins his brother, sometimes as a, uh, a Lakshman, sometimes a Balaram, sometimes Nityananda Mahaprabhu, sometimes older brother, sometimes younger brother, sometimes uh, Madhuri Rasa, Sakya Rasa, Vasala Rasa. He does all this Rasa just to please Krishna, to serve Krishna, and help others also bring uh, others to close to Krishna. And then now we also talked about some of his pastimes and we also talked about his energies, how Sandini potency, Sandhi, he doesn't care about uh, it's easy or hard or difficult. He doesn't look for his own uh, self-satisfaction thing, but whatever is needed to serve Krishna, his master, 24 by 7, without any condition, without any uh, 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 second part. When we talked about how the one he takes the living and it is close to Krishna, he also took Sita away from Ram. Purpose is Vipralamba and Samboga. Expansion and contraction. So amazing, this principle, if you understand, at the end of the day, as Krishna says, we will not take birth again. My dear friends, we also talk about Denukasura, who represents so many uh, vices, and then Pralambasura, which we need to work. So as, at the end, the only thing is that uh, Balaram so also left this material world go back to spiritual world in this world. So if we take shelter of Balaram and pray, all the spiritual desires, the spiritual strength, sadhana sakti, and also the discrimination capacity, and also um, right decision-making skills, when and where and how, this power comes from Balaram. Bala means strength, uh, Ram means when he gives the pleasure. Just to conclude, Bala without pleasure, there's no value. This is the force. A forceful thing, but it's really anything. At the same time, we have the pleasure, but there is no strength. That's that's also not positive. Bala Badra, the one who retains, maintains, sustains Bala, which is a spiritual strength, is a Balaram. Today is his auspicious day. Let's pray sincerely, seriously. Let's all come together. So let's do something internally as well as collectively to others. Thank you very much. I will end here giving back to Ram Prabhu. He can facilitate the questions. If you have any comments, questions, or corrections, please do so. So much, Namit Krishna Prabhu. Um, I just saw Pritam Prabhu raised his hand. If there are any questions, Pritam Prabhu, please unmute yourself and uh, ask. 
Yes, Prabhu. Uh, Navin Prabhu, I have a question. You mentioned that uh, Lord Balaram serves Krishna in all the five verses. Could you clarify how does he serve Krishna in the in the Madhura Rasa? I'm not clear about that. Yeah, sure. Very good. Thank you. So Radharani has the three siblings, Vidhama, Radharani, Ananga Manjari, his younger sister. Ananga Manjari is actually Balaram expansion. So okay. Ananga Manjari helps Radharani in the Rasa Lila in Madhuri Ras. Okay, yeah, okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Anyone else has any questions, Prabhu? If nobody has, can I ask one more? Hare Krishna Prabhu. Ramesh Prabhu, uh, please go ahead. After that, Pritam Prabhu will ask another question. Yeah. Okay. So, Navin Krishna Prabhu, thank you for the amazing discourse. Very nice. Um, <clears throat> I had just one question, Prabhu. You say Balram, Lord Balram is uh, Guru Tattva. So, he is nothing but Krishna. But when we talk about Guru as such, the Guru Tattva, we consider Guru is different from the Lord, right? We are never supposed to say Guru is the same as Krishna. So how do we differentiate that, Prabhu? Just uh, just asking, Prabhu, that's all. So my understanding is that Guru is not Krishna, but is not different than Krishna, because the purpose is same. Uh, let me say again, Guru is not Krishna, okay. but is not different than Krishna, because the purpose is same. What is the purpose? Guru is bringing us close to Krishna. And Krishna's right. purpose, becoming Adi Guru, which is Balaram, the purpose is to bring us close to Krishna. So when this is the ideology and this is the aspiration of Guru, based on Guru Sadhu Shastra, Guru can be worshipped as good as Krishna, Prabhupada that is, but tattu, that is from Tattva perspective. From Leela perspective, sorry, that's from Leela perspective. Tattva perspective, you understand, but Guru is not Krishna. Like, you know, he gave an example of embassy. Prabhupada gave an example of embassy. So you have Indian embassy in America. So they send the representative of India in that embassy. So like that, Guru is an embassy for spiritual world. And Guru, Guru, Guru Tattva is an embassy for spiritual world uh, to connect it. So in that perspective, Guru is not Krishna, but he's as good as Krishna because the purpose is same. Is it clear, Prabhu? I so. I got the point, so. Thank you, Prabhu. Uh, Prita Prabhu, please go ahead. Yeah, Navin, from another point you mentioned in your class in the beginning is about the Satya Viva extension. Um, you mentioned that uh, Lord Balaram has two Satya Viva extensions. Um, uh, this is just to clarify, I mean, is, is, am I right? So I think the first extension happens in, in Dwarka and Mathura, and the second extension happens in, uh, in, in Vaikuntha. Is that correct? I heard it somewhere or read it somewhere. I don't remember where I read it, but is that correct? No, first Prabhu and Golak Vrindavan. So when okay. Krishna becomes Balaram, mm -hmm. so Balaram expands to Chitravi. They become the four directions in the spiritual world. So in the spiritual world. And then now he also becomes different Vaikuntha planets. Okay. And he also becomes the sustenance, how the entire uh, uh, the spiritual world connects. And he also become Brahma Jyoti. This is the spiritual sky. Krishna, other than enjoying, he'll never do anything. Everything is done by Balaram's potency. So now, so, so the, he, yeah. The second, second expansion, where does it happen? That's my question. But both expansion happen in the spiritual world. Okay. So there's Both one more thing. Yeah, there. there's one more point. Good, good that you mentioned because in, in my sequence, I forgot to mention that. I'll tell you in a second. So let me say this. Swayam Rupa, Swayam Prakash. Um, yeah, so this here, Tad Ekatma Rupa. That's one of the expansions. He says that an expansion is a form of Lord residing in the spiritual realm. Okay. And then, uh, where is that? Yeah, expansion 
manifestation happens in spiritual world yeah. expansion happen in material world so let me take back let me take back that so no i think expansion happens in spiritual world right? spiritual world yeah. yeah yeah this is little bit that's one this is the technical details i have written everything here but because the time i could not explain all the details um uh, yeah oh yeah avatara is a form of lord assumes in material world avatara yeah yeah avatara happens in material world expansion manifestation happens in spiritual world is okay. okay yeah in that in spiritual world vaikuntha is one of them dwaraka is one of them mathura is one of them okay so there are many mode that will be expansion happen in the spiritual world exactly when you become a narsingha there is a narsingha spiritual world ayodhya is a spiritual world achyuta ananta padyumna vasudeva sankashna padmanabha for everything pura narpa is one particular uh, uh, thing in the spiritual world they are all expansions expansions of expansions of expansions of balaram okay thank you prabhu thank you yeah purusha avatara is the nandi or the seed for the material world that's this called karana first is reason karana second is garbha which is the taking birth it doesn't happen in spiritual world it's actually outside of the spiritual realm at the start uh, uh, the outside of the spiritual realm okay give a beautiful example in, in, in one of the bhagavatam it says like you know if you see the sun right what sun does it evaporates the water then it water evaporates and it become a cloud the cloud is nothing but sun's energy which is evaporated from the water it forms as a the, in the form of a cloud it's a carrying water but we cannot see right so same energy which is created by uh, sun which covers the sun so even the cloud is a by product of sun it's not it is, it is it cannot cover the sun but it covers our eyes to sun right. so like that in the spiritual world this mahatatva is a cloud which is created by balaram's energy sandini which covers the spiritual world when it covers it became a dark place that is the material world okay thank you prabhu right no problem thank you anyone else has any questions no uh, prabhu uh, i was just uh, asking for the i want to ask the reference that where uh, balram and krishna has 64 qualities because when we are reading uh, we came through like jeevas has 50 qualities and uh, mm-hmm. brahma has 55 mm-hmm. uh, not not 55 50 and um, shambhu has okay. 55 and uh, i i i couldn't get the reference where it yeah, is yeah i can send you the, i can send you the reference yeah, yeah. if any Plus, link is there please yes sure so um, jeevas 50 brahma, brahma including brahma uh, up to 50 not like all up to 50 yeah. i mean to certain extent 55 mm-hmm. is actually shiva 60 is vishnu tattva mm-hmm. 64 is Bra- krishna and balaram mm-hmm. so that's a four is extra leela madhuri prema madhuri veena madhuri and uh, and then uh, madhuri. Venu, madhuri. Madhuri. venu madhuri venu madhuri this four balaram also has it mm-hmm. so that season both are same only difference is the mood and rupa rupa and then uh, bhava and then there's another difference which is the past times of krishna as little more sweeter than balaram that's only the difference i can send you the reference thank you bro yeah and also you know um, recently we were reading um, brahma samhita where it is mentioned that you know even brahma has uh, 55 qualities so jiva has 50 brahma has 55 but the five extra they are in very little quantity mm-hmm. whereas uh, lord shiva has 55 in full so that's what it was mentioned you know so yeah. so all these things chakra ketan prabhu it's not explained in bhagavatam it is mm. actually explained by acharyas like you know uh, uh, rupa goswami sanatan goswami okay. jiva goswami especially sandarbhas like you know krishna stava and then uh, uh, lagu bhagavatam if you see this ekatmaka uh, avachecha rupa like you know chatya which of saras fine rupa elaborately vilasa vibhava prakasha this entire tattva is so elaborately explained the entire at least 100 pages hari krishna prabhu hai hari hari krishna kartik prabhu how are you yeah good uh, prabhu i have a uh, question like uh, what is the age difference between uh, balaram and krishna prabhu right. see balaram beautiful point so balaram when he was in the womb of rohini is 7 months 
when he was uh, Adi Shesu, he was uh, in the womb, he's a six month in the, of Devaki. So six here, seven there, and total he was in the womb for 14 months. It is clearly mentioned. Balaram did not come out like you and me, nine months. He stayed in the womb for 14 months. When that happened, the miscarriage happened. So next year, Krishna was born. So closely, it was around one and a half year between, uh, like, you know, for example, today, uh, uh, Balaram was born. And then uh, later, almost like, you know, a little lower than one year. That's the difference one, between. So one year and 10 days, something like that. Like, yeah. Mean, so there is a two two versions, Prabhu. So he was in the womb for 14 months. That's I, I read it. But if you see, this week is Balaram, and next week is Krishna's birthday. That means one year, one, one month. So in one version, it says one year, one, one, one or two weeks. And there is also 14 uh, months difference. So I, I read both of them. I don't know, but uh, maybe somebody else can quote them. Bhagavatam did not explain the details. They all come from the different Puranas. But definitely one, one plus years. I see Ujjwal Nita has a question. Hi, Krishna. Um, I don't have a question, but I just I I want to hear more of the Balaram Lila killing demons. Sure, no problem. Come to home. We can discuss. <laughs> Prabhu, if you tell a quick story about Balaram and other demons killing, you only told two. You okay, have two minutes. If there's no questions, we can do that. If Ramji tried an audio. Yeah, we have some time, you know, it's a 7.54. If no one has any questions, so we can uh, we can have a quick uh, past time. Okay. So let's talk about um, Kaurava spread. Okay. Kaurava spread. So once upon a time, when Kauravas or Pandavas are living together, so Krishna's son come from Jambavati, which is uh, Samba, very chivalrous, very powerful. So, and then Duryodhana's daughter, which is Lakshmana. So they had Swayamvar. Those days, Swayamvar means if it is a king, they, they proclaim that hey, my daughter is uh, in marriageable age and she's ready. If you are interested, you all can show and she can choose one, um, one among you. And then whomever she chooses, she marries. Uh, other people, they will not feel bad. And that's how they take very sportively. So like that, they proclaimed. And then uh, all the kings in the world reached Hastinapur. Brilliant ar arrangement, a lot of festivities, a lot of decorations. People are eating, drinking, talking, joking. Different people are seeing other people for after a long time. Things are going on like this. So now, but somehow, Lakshmana was loved or liked by Samba. But he was not invited. For some reason, he was not invited. And he felt bad. And he said, I want to teach them a lesson. So he came, and when she was walking in the arena, looking at everybody, about to choose somebody to marry, and then here comes Samba, ferocious and powerful Kshatriya, and comes, grab her, put her in a chariot, and run away. It all happened in a split of a second. By the time everybody re realized, it's gone. By the time they realized, my God, what happened? And then they all ran, holding their gadas, the uh, uh, like in you know, weapons running behind uh, Samba, but he's so powerful. And then there's a six Maharathis, like you know, great warriors, including Karna, Dushas, and Duryodhan, uh, all the people um, uh, ran behind him. They challenged him. So Chatriya, by nature, if somebody challenged him, they'll never uh, escape. He said, he told Lakshmana, hold, and let me fight. By holding uh, his future wife in the chariot, he started fighting. So there's a code of conduct. When somebody fight, you fight one-on-one. -on -one. Others wait. One-on-one, -on -one, he fought with everybody. He defeated them. Nobody could not. He's so powerful, so swift like, like an air, uh, so powerful, so accurate, so precise. Nobody could not defeat him. And they realized, my God, he's powerful. They felt happy. They felt happy. My, our daughter actually chose the right person. What? The ego is there in a good way. Let me challenge. Let's see what happened, how far this person can go. And then eventually they all unitedly together fought with him. It's not fair. 
like in one 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 person fight that makes sense if six people joined and jointly that's not fair so it's a deceiving way they overpower him and then eventually they they catch him they put him in a uh, they don't want to kill him bishma told him don't kill them because now if he kills he is touched by him nobody will marry her so but we want to teach him a lesson so they put him in a jail and then eventually when uh, dwaraka krishna heard about it he is very upset Balram heard about it, is very upset. Kutavarma, the Satviki, like you know, uh, uh, everybody, all these warriors, Pradyumna, Aniruddha, uh, there's so many Krishna's sons and grandsons. They are all so powerful. When they heard it, they now they are all itching. Now let's time for fight. Let's fight. Then we have to go and protect. And then Balram said, "Don't worry. This is not among uh, 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 relatives. We should not fight. We should give benefit of doubt." let me try duryodhan he is my disciple if i if i go then he will uh, uh, hand over um, samba then krishna said yes we should give a benefit of doubt give a chance second chance let's see what happens so here comes he took some uh, army and then uh, all paraphernalia entourage everything entered into the hastinapur as soon as all the kauravas pandavas heard it they all ran to the outskirts of the uh, uh, hastinapur to greet balaram because they have a great adoration great respect respect for balaram they have washed his feet they glorified him you are that you are this you are the reason we are here you, because of you because duryodhan bhim they all uh, learned uh, the art of fighting with the mace from balaram so they all worship him then everything is good then eventually balaram asks all this is good okay no problem but i came a purpose he said what is the purpose you all put samba in the jail it's not fair you all together uh, bind him release him as soon as he said 360 degrees changed 360 degrees so far they were glorifying there is another symptom of kaliyuga unpredictable we cannot trust this kind of a people unpredictable you glorify at the same time if something goes wrong they turn it again they start at cursing balaram what great uh, uh, misery is that this ayadu dynasty person is who is not fit to become called as the chatriya is teaching as a lesson few minutes before they are washing him feet now they are saying that like in you know, all these things and then they they are they are actually your what kind of a dynasty you are actually among chatriyas ayadu dynasty is less or you, but we are just giving respect because of this and because of that because of kunti so many things they have done and patiently heard and then they are left and then profusely balaram got it controlled he could not control anymore then he got so angry his people are so good and they are actually go to that extent where they trying to find fault with me i want to teach them a lesson he called his plow where is my plow the plow appeared and then he took the plow he lift like you know sometimes when you are uh, mowing the uh, 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 grass sometimes the grass is the seeds we pluck we pluck the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the small plant like that when it comes it also comes with the dirt like that he separated and third f of hastinapur into a he separated he was about to throw in the ganges ganges at that time is like ocean so huge and everybody started running building started shaking it's like earthquake oh balaram sorry 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 we are very sorry we are sorry please forgive us and they all came running and falling at their feet they saying we are just testing sorry we are just testing <laughs> we are all, we, we didn't mean to do that we just testing you so much simple just please forgive us he said be careful next time don't do that i'm forgiving you don't do this nonsense again and then they they brought uh samba in front of them <laughs> paul me and balram said okay they forgive them and then uh, and then took him asna acha dwarka so this is the past time what we learn from here we should not be puffed up never forget who helped us We never ever forget who helped us in the past, and I always give the chance, benefit of doubt. Don't come to conclusions without hearing the second side. These are the symptoms we can learn from Balaram. He's just saying, "No, he gave the chance. I want you to go, give a chance. I want to inquire what happened, and then now, don't come to conclusions by hearing from one or two persons. These are the uh, uh, the symptoms of vices from this past times we can learn and apply." and then help others and help ourselves is it okay ujjwal 
Yes, now I understand that don't be proud of us, we'll be in trouble. <laughs> I hope I learned that lesson too. Thank you. Thank you, Navin Krishna Prabhu. Thank you, all devotees, uh, for your participation today. Um, are there any other questions? Should I ask some quick questions? Mataji, you have a question? Yes. Yes. Yeah, please go ahead. Please go ahead. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Yeah, please don't mind. I'm the question person. But so, no problem. <laughs> so many questions come and keep, keep asking different to whoever I get. So my question is that Prabhu, Balaram, whenever I think of Balaram, sometimes I get scary because of the unfamiliarity. What is that? Your voice is breaking up. You sometimes you're scared? Oh, Balaram is very strict about no anartha, oh. anartha nirviti. Yeah, yeah. So, once, yeah. So, how strict Balaram will be with us in Kali Yuga? If the same strict like other, we're going to cut us if we don't think. <laughs> <laughs> and also, Prabhu, how to present. Like when I go out, uh, talk about uh, people about uh, Krishna, Balaram, and then that much they know. If they do upper yoga, they know. But they have, they don't know the only thing. Uh, Balaram came as a the Prabhu, which uh, was so merciful, right? Like your grandmother's story is different. So, how to present them? How to present Nityananda, Balaram expression, and Balaram. So, how to present that? Okay, so two, two parts questions. So, if we are in Dwapar Yuga, yes, Balaram is very strict. If you are in, uh, in uh, Treta Yuga, Lakshman is very strict. But if you are in Kali Yuga, the same Balaram, same Lakshman, as you said, is comes as the Nitya and the Mahaprabhu. So even though we have tendencies like uh, Jaga and Madai, so when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was trying to kill them, he said no. So he took the humility, humble position, and he says, kill the mentality to the holy name. So when we, as you're chanting, so same Balaram, same Lakshman, in the form of Nityananda Mahaprabhu, was coming back to Gauranga. So that means you should not be fearful. We never, they never take an offense. It doesn't mean that we don't have, we offend. We offend, we, we, we ask forgiveness and, and lament and then uh, develop the remorse that I made a mistake, please forgive me. Then they can give a chance. Krishna consciousness is a collection of blessings and unlimited chances is given. As long as we keep trying, we may be fail, failure, that's fine. Keep trying again. So that's one part of the question. Second question, how do we tell others? So that's where it comes, maturity. There's a Kala Patra, time, place, circumstances. Not what I wanted to tell them, but what they need to hear. Who are they? What is their background? What is the spiritual level of understanding? What kind of a practices they do? Based on that, the right, correct doctor always asks you question. They will never tell you, okay, this is the medicine. No, what is the symptoms? What are you feeling? How frequent is coming? Your father, what is problem? Your mother, what is the background? What, what, are, what are you eating? All these questions ask, right? When we come to preaching, we don't ask these questions. We come to jump on them. We tell them what we wanted to tell them. That's not accept. Krishna says in Gita, we have no right to disturb others' faith. We have no authority to disturb others' faith. Krishna will be unpleased. But at the same time, but how to present this in such a way that they can get attracted. So for that, you have to know them. And you have to present in such a way that what is, but without deviating from philosophy. We are not here to change the philosophy. Present and package in such a way that they can understand, they can appreciate, they can follow. That comes from how do you approach, how do you pray to your guru, which is a, a Balaram, Balaram Tattva. And he reveals because why there is a Balaram Tattva in, in their heart and there is also in your heart. The person, Balaram in their heart, brought you to them, them to you. There is a reason for that. When you're walking, only some people come to you. There is a reason. Now we use the heavy philosophy. Do you think Balaram will be happy? There's a reason the person went through so many lifetime of life of them, finally coming and meeting the devotee. Krishna. Krishna in the form of Balaram in Sandini potency arranging that meeting. And we have to use our intelligence, God given talent, pray, how do we serve? If we not disturb them, at least we should we encourage them and take one more step close to Krishna. And that is the real preaching. 
otherwise operation is successful patient is dead they will never see you me they never they hate tropa they hate krishna and they walk away is that's what preaching no preaching is some sort of somehow other for that you have to understand them and nourish their faith that's how then you you will be very successful preacher tropa said i'm not here looking for millions of people even one person if i make devotee my life is successful that should be a mood we are not looking for numbers we are looking for in one person if i connect to krishna genuinely that is our mission life mission is success guru is please even if i preach but every one of them is run away run, run away are fearful of me that krishna will not be pleased philosophy is supposed to help us not to use as a weapon to kill others that's my understanding because whatever people are distributing books so some coming some not coming but they take books so what i do you know because i i give them and invite them give them books they that's it they yeah, do your best leave rest to krishna so some people talk somebody come for and somebody take books and they will read and they take it so that's what i do but um, i don't know but i don't know they will read it today or they will read after one month or one year i don't know so that's okay that's I okay because there is a person who is inside you he does the everything he is the one bringing them to you he is the giving power intelligence to you to give it to them now he will do the rest you did your job krishna is a master where he only see the endeavor he doesn't see the result the result leave it to him yeah you are doing wonderful job thank you very much keep it up thank you. thank you so much uh, navin krishna prabhu thank you devotees for uh, participating in uh, uh, today's program so i just have a couple of uh, quick announcements and reminders so uh, today on the auspicious occasion of uh, lord balram appearance day uh, we distributed about 150 boxes of prasad so yeah uh, that's really wonderful uh, thanks all the devotees for uh, you know rsvping for uh, prasad um the only humble request is that you know there were so many last minute requests like until yesterday afternoon there was a request only for 50 50 boxes but by this morning there were more than 120 so it becomes very challenging uh, to sarv prashad you know please um, <laughs> um next time you know like for uh, janmashtami please rsvp by next sunday night so that we know how much to cook because we don't want to cook lot of prasadam and then it gets wasted on the festival day we don't want to do that and at the same time we want to you know honor everyone and we want to give prasadam to everyone also so there is a balancing act that needs to be done so we request all the devotees to be uh, devotees to rsvp for janmashtami and balram shila uh, prabhupada appearance day prasadam by upcoming sunday night so that we have you know some reasonable count uh, so that we can cook properly right thank you all so much for participating again today um and uh, just a reminder uh, next sunday sunday feast class it will be given by his grace dwarakadish prabhu and vishakapriya mata ji from uh, chopati india wonderful devotee couple so they will be giving class next sunday 11:30 and uh, janmashtami is on uh, okay. tuesday august 11th so did somebody say something okay um janmashtami is uh, next tuesday august 11th and uh, the details will be posted in the briefly mentioned the details but uh, again there will be another email with all the details sent to uh, community sometime this week please look for the email uh, that is followed by sri prabhupada appearance day on oh ji ji che kadan okay <laughs> ramesh prabhu <laughs> yeah yes 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 ramesh prabhu is in uh, ecstasy i can see that sorry prabhu i was at temple talking to gurudev prabhu <laughs> Okay, no, Prabhu, no. I wanted to thank all the volunteers also who did so much of prasadam. Really, including Ramesh Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu. You know, Nitai Chand Prabhu, Mother Kamajiri, you know, and Mayuri Mata Ji uh, helped in the kitchen. Uh, Pritam Prabhu helped until evening. You know, the Hari, you know, helped with uh, packing the prasadam. Chani Kapandit Prabhu. So there are many, many devotees help today. Uh, we really appreciate all the devotees for their help, and we are very, very grateful to all of them.